Since I got this Tamron 28-75mm f2.8 lens, it has replaced all my full frame prime lenses. The main benefit of a fast zoom lens like this is to be able to use one lens for many different occasions and still have great low light and shallow depth of field performance. For me, the benefit of not having to switch lenses or think about which lens to bring uh, on each trip is so huge that I got rid of all my prime lenses. You don't have to do the same, but for me, I'm content with what this f2.8 lens can do. As a fast zoom lens, Tamron 28-75 did a lot of things right, especially in terms of size and weight. Considering this lens weighs only 550 grams, the size matches perfectly on the body of Sony A7 full frame lens. It is significantly lighter and smaller than a fast zoom like Sony GM24-70 f2.8, which is 880 grams. Uh, also, it is lighter than the Sigma 24 to 70 mm f2.8, as well as the Sony 24 to 105 G lens. So, in terms of weight, this is the best you can get for what it does. Uh, let's talk about the build quality. Although plasticky, I actually like this design very much. It's very slick and smooth, kind of minimalist without any buttons. A very modern style by Tamron. It does have weather sealing, which is extra nice. The zoom ring is very nice and smooth, made of rubber, which I like very much, very, very comfortable. The focus ring is plastic and I don't use it as much. All in all, it is a beautiful design, good looking yet very simple, which matches the philosophy of this lens design. The lens itself starts from 28 mm, which is not the widest for standard zoom, but here Tamron made the decision to sacrifice 4 mm of focal length to reduce its footprint as well as keep the price down, which is a decision we can all respect, and in fact it seems to fall into a perfect niche that a lot of people desire. Personally, I, when I shoot landscape with a standard zoom lens, I tend to zoom into about 28 to 35 mm, which means this lens is just perfect. And on the tele end, you get additional 5 mm, which is not a lot, but it's nice to have when you shoot portrait. But in some specific situations, such as vlogging, real estate photography, or group shot, rather have the 24 mm range. I find 28 a little bit limiting in that respect. But that brings us back to the point why Tamron decided to design it this way in the first place. Uh, there can be no perfect lens, and yeah, that's that. Speaking of image quality, it is well known for its excellent sharpness. I've watched a lot of uh, image quality comparison video on YouTube between this Tamron lens and, this, and the Sony GM lens. There seems to be a minimum amount of uh, difference, meaning you are paying a fraction of money for basically GM quality glass. Definitely a great band for the buck. And that's why this lens has been so popular among Sony shooters. This lens also has a decent minimum focusing distance from, from 19cm at 28mm to 39cm at 75mm. You can get pretty up close to your subject, which give you additional bokelicious uh, very nice and handy when the need comes. About autofocus, I personally have no issue at all. It's as fast as a Sony native lens, and I use it on my AE7R2, A7S2, as well as AE6300. It's as fast and as accurate as the camera allows. Uh, but remember, the lens doesn't have image stabilization, so it can be a little bit troubling to shoot this on A6300. Better use a tripod. To sum it up, I think this is a wonderful choice for those who like the f2.8 aperture in a small package like this, easy to carry. Uh, there's almost no compromises in any way or form except the 4mm focal range on the wide end, which I believe a lot of you can forgive. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing for more content like this. Affiliate links in below. Bye.